And now to our lab. Oh! Where we do incredible experiments to show you how your body works. So watch this. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Now this is a real stomach, but it's not my stomach. Whose stomach is it? Well, actually, it's a sheep's stomach, but it's very similar to ours. Now, your stomach is an amazing shrinking, stretching, cleaning machine. That's right. After you've eaten food, it goes down into your stomach, which then mashes it up and cleans it to get rid of any bugs that might be there. Another amazing thing your stomach can do is expand according to the food you've eaten. So if you have a small snack, then it'll stay small. But if you eat a big meal, then it'll get much bigger. And we're going to show you just how much bigger it can get. First, we're going to make a meal of fish fingers, chips and peas. Yum! Now we're going to mix it all up in the liquidizer, just like your teeth mash up food when they chew it. And there we go, a nice big jug of fish finger smoothie. Now we need to pour the mixture into the hole at the top where the food from your mouth goes down into your stomach. We've closed up the hole at the bottom too. This is where the food would leave your stomach to go into your intestines to be absorbed. Now, when you eat, you often, along with your food, swallow some air, and when your stomach squeezes, that air gets forced back up your food pipe and comes out as a burp. <coughs> Sorry, Chris. When you get wind at the other end, it's because gas has been produced in your large intestine. Don't even think about it, just keep pouring. So that's got much bigger, hasn't it? Your stomach expands depending on how much you've eaten, but an adult stomach can actually swell up to 10 times its own size. But that's not all. In your stomach, you've got a very powerful acid. It's so strong it kills bacteria and can even change some of your food to make it more digestible. You see, when you get hungry and your tummy rumbles, that's your stomach producing the acid in preparation for the incoming food. In your stomach are parietal cells and they make the acid. So we're going to show you right now how the acid works. This is my sink. It's a mixture of food and acid, so I'm going to sieve the food out and we'll just be left with the acid. You love doing this, don't you? Yes, I do. So if I sieve out the chunky bits of food, I'm left with just my stomach acid. Then I'll add some of this acid to milk and watch what happens. If I stir that, can you see that? Oh, that's disgusting! So the milk has gone chunky, and that's because the acid has made the protein in the milk all clump together. It's called curdling. It's what happens in your stomach every time you drink a milkshake. Oh, I like milkshake. Your stomach acid does this to milk to stop it flowing through your body too quickly. It needs to absorb all the proteins from those crumbly lumps. So this acid is clearly very strong stuff. So why doesn't it dissolve our gut? In your stomach, you've got a layer of thick, protective mucus, but the rest of your gut secretes a chemical called bicarbonate, which neutralises the acid. So when you're having your tea tonight, just remember how brilliant your stomach is. Ooh, tea? What are we having for tea? Son, you're always thinking with your stomach.